Bonjour and welcome, viewers and students, to Let's Speak French, Parlant Français. These lessons on basic French are short and easy. And if you follow the program regularly, I can guarantee you that very soon you will be able to speak and understand French quite easily. In the previous class, we learned the two things that make French somewhat hard for beginners the silent letters and the concept of liaison. Today's class will be on numbers. We'll learn how to count from 0 to 100 and I'll also show you how to ask someone their age and reply to the question. The lesson will be divided into three sections. Let's begin with the numbers. I'll show you how to count from 0 to 10. 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now I'll show you how the numbers are written. 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now I'll show you how to count from 11 to 19. You only need to learn the numbers till 16 because from 17 onwards it's a combination of the numbers you already know. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let us see how these numbers are written. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. In writing, always remember to put the hyphen between the numbers. Next, let us learn the tens. We'll first learn till 60. These, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Let's see how these are written. These, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Now let me show you how to count from 21 to 29. This will be easy since the formation of number is identical in English. In English, you add the number 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. after the word 20. So you say 21, 22, 23, 24, etc. The same pattern is followed in French. The only difference is 21. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Let's now see how these are written. 21, 22, 23, 24, 
25, 26, 27, 28, 29. As I said, the number 21 is slightly different. You must insert the word A between the two numbers. In writing, you don't put a hyphen. This pattern continues till 69. So the numbers from 20 to 69 are easy to remember since they follow the same pattern. I'm not going to show you all the numbers from 30 to 69. You can refer to the notes for that. Here I will indicate only a few numbers. 31 32 41 44 51 56 61 69 Now let's look at their spelling. 31 32 41 44 51 56 61 69 Again, remember to put the hyphen between the numbers. Also note that the numbers 21, 31, 41, 51 and 61 don't have any hyphen. The numbers from 70 to 100 are slightly different. We'll first learn the tens, that is from 70 to 100. 70, 80, 90, 100. These are written as 70, 80, 90, 100. What should be noted in this series is that a separate word for 70, 80 and 90 does not exist. A literal translation of these numbers would be for 70, 70 is 60, 10. For 80, 80 is 4, 20. And 90, 90 is 4, 20, 10. Let us first look at the numbers 81 to 89 because they follow the same pattern as 21 to 69. 81, 88, 89. These numbers are written as 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. A literal translation of these numbers would be 81, 81, 4, 21, 86, 86, 4, 26, 89, 89, 4, 29. The only thing that must be noted in this series is 81. Unlike the other numbers, the word A is not inserted here. The numbers from 71 to 79 
and 91 to 99 are similar which is why we are doing them together. Unlike the previous numbers where we add 1, 2, 3 etc to 20, 30, 40 etc. In the case of 70 and 90 we add the words 11, 12, 13, 17, 18 etc. Let us look at a few examples. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75 and from 90, 90, 91, 92, 96, 97, 98, 99. Let us look at how these are written. 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 90, 91, 92, 96, 97, 98, 99. As you can see, these numbers are quite different from the rest. A literal translation of some of the numbers would be 71, 71 is 60, 11. 78, 78 is 60, 18. 91 is 4, 20, 11 and 99, 99 is 4, 20, 19. So these are the numbers from 0 to 100 in French. For practicing, you can refer to the notes. A table along with the spellings of the numbers has been provided in that section. In the second section of this lesson on numbers, we will learn how to ask someone their age. I will also show you how to answer when someone asks you your age. Let us begin with the question, how old are you? Quel âge avez-vous? I'll again repeat the question. Quel âge avez-vous? Quel âge avez-vous? Let us see how this question is written. Quel âge avez-vous? Quel âge avez-vous? This question is the formal way of asking someone their age. The informal way of asking the same question would be by replacing avez-vous with as-tu. So in an informal situation you would ask quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Let us see the written form of this question. Quel âge as-tu? Quel âge as-tu? Let us now compare the formal and informal ways of inquiring someone's age. Quel âge avez-vous? And quel âge as-tu? Vous and tu both mean you. In English, there isn't any distinction between a formal you and an informal you. But the distinction exists in French. Vous is a formal you and tu is an informal you. Now let us see how to reply to this question. J'ai 30 ans. I'll again repeat the answer. J'ai 30 ans. J'ai 30 ans. Let us see the written form of this answer. J'ai 30 ans. J'ai 30 ans means I'm 30 years old. To tell your age, start the reply with j'ai, which is an equivalent of I am. 
then add your age and end with the word en which means years so j'ai plus your age plus en j'ai 30 ans let us replace 30 with 22 then with 23 j'ai 22 ans j'ai 23 ans i'll again repeat j'ai 22 ans j'ai 23 ans in both the numbers the liaison makes a z sound 22 ans 23 ans refer to the notes to know how the numbers 1 to 9 make a liaison the reason why you need to refer to the notes is because sometimes a letter changes a sound during a liaison before we end today's lesson let us revise what we learned here is one exercise in which we will practice the numbers by reading out the following telephone numbers in french the phone numbers are read in groups of twos for example a phone number like this would not be read as single digits but as 12, 34, 56, 78, 90. So let's practice reading the phone numbers. You can repeat after me. 98, 13, 45, 61, 22, 43, 55, 21, 09, 34. The third phone number would be 50, 88, 31, 14, 09. And the final phone number is 73, 68, these 16 93 so here we come to the end of our fifth class which focused on numbers let me summarize today's lesson in a few words this lesson was divided into three sections in the first section we learned how to count from 0 to 100 we also learned the spelling of the numbers as well as the liaison that certain numbers make. In the second section of the lesson, we learned how to ask someone their age. We also learned how to reply to the question. And finally, in the third section, we revised today's lesson by doing an exercise on telephone numbers. I hope you enjoyed today's session. With this, we come to the end of our first unit. In the next class, we will start the second unit. In our first lesson of the second unit, we'll learn the conjugation of the two most important verbs in the French language, the auxiliary verbs avoir, which means to have, and être, which means to be. Hope to see you in the next class. Thank you. A bientôt. See you soon.